level up? The first class of monster slayers I wanted to show off is the rogue, the same class I was using in my first video about this game. This class is good at dodging, dealing critical damage, and making money and finding items. They don't have a lot of health, nor do they excel at magic, but they have an ability that can be unlocked that provides them with an additional 2 starting AP for future runs. Admit tidely, they're my least played, and therefore weakest class. I've only played the game for a few hours total as of the time of recording and uploading this video. Which brings up what could be a positive or negative aspect of this game depending on how you look at it. The runs in this game can be incredibly short. Shorter than most roguelite games I've played, and you'll come to find I play a lot of them if you've seen more of my other videos. Those short games can make this game easy to play for just a short time when trying to idle away a bit of time, but its fame mechanic keeps me engaged for several runs in a row, especially if I ranked up and was able to unlock a new ability. The first several abilities are actually quite easy to unlock, I'll freely admit I'm still learning this game and haven't beaten it, but I've unlocked 22 abilities in just the short time I've played it. Although I am now at the point where I don't usually rank up if I don't manage to clear the level. Speaking of levels, I do not manage to win this one. It is the level I went to right after defeating the first boss in my first video discussing my perceptions of this game, and I didn't make it to the boss here despite clearing much of the level. I made a mistake when I chose my final enemy and didn't heal before the fight, but knowing that's what made me fail and not some randomized aspect on the game's part is another thing that keeps me playing for several games in a row. Then when I do manage to unlock a new ability, I immediately want to test it out, and if I do well enough during that run, I can unlock a new ability and just repeat that cycle until I have all the abilities and have defeated the final boss. Defeating the final boss isn't the end of the game or a reason to stop playing, either. Once you defeat the boss, you can unlock access to 6 more legendary classes to play as. There's the Necromancer, the Apothecary, the Brute, and the Assassin, the Beast Master, and the Monk classes you can play as too. In the previous video I mentioned that you could spend fame collected during runs on abilities for your characters and classes, but I wanted to also make clear that you can repick upgrades that require you to choose one of two options and that not all of the ability upgrades are for your companions or your classes. Some will make things easier for all future runs regardless of class by unlocking new cards to discover in the world, or increasing the amount of health gained per level. One of the abilities that unlocks new cards grants access to cards that help you cycle through your deck more quickly, which itself can be a play style. A small deck filled with just the cards you need and cards to cycle through all your cards in your deck will help you burn through your deck, which will be reshuffled once all the cards in it are drawn. The same is true for your enemies, so if you're playing in a way that has you stealing a bunch of your enemies' as cards, be careful not to forget you are helping them cycle through their deck too. Regardless of what class I play, I try to get cards that help me cycle through my deck because some of the ones that make you draw cards will also have other effects such as causing damage, providing a shield the enemy has to bash through before getting to your hit points, or increasing AP or mana to help you use whatever card you're about to draw. One of my favorites is the one that makes you almost impossible to hit. One of my equipped items adds that card to my deck, which is yet another reason to hold onto as many items as you can find in this game. A well-matched set of gear can add some very powerful cards to your deck depending on what playstyle you're going for. Speaking of playstyles, this rogue is my least favorite one. It's great for cycling through your deck, but the deck it has is full of cards I do not want. I prefer card that heal me or stop my opponent from being able to hurt me by giving me a shield or removing cards from their hands so they can't use them next turn. That second ability because more useful when you and your enemies are all able to have up to 5 cards in your hand each turn. That's a lot of damage to give and take, but not if they don't have card to play, or you have to shield to absorb it all. I do not like relying on dodging. As you can see from my companion's second ability, dodging isn't guaranteed, but cancelling or removing cards is guaranteed. I like that that companion can negate cards my enemies play, if lucky, 
it will prevent some powerful attacks that might otherwise have killed me. My other companion is universally useful for survival too. I unlock the passive ability she has that grants my characters 3 HP per turn, but she can also heal 15% of your total health. Healing is incredibly crucial as you will see. It's why my favorite class is the cleric, the healing class. That's not to say the rogue isn't useful. If you're looking for new items, it's the best one to grab. Its backstab card can be devastating when upgraded fully to deal 3 damage per card played that turn, including the backstab card. They also get the most gold from enemies which is useful considering how quickly the prices at the merchant go up for upgrading and deleting cards to improve your deck. You also can't sell anything until you complete the level or die trying, so gold becomes a precious commodity later on. This class, or the companion whose ability is to just give you free gold are a great way to make sure you always have enough of the stuff to buy what you need. Being able to buy healing on a level with no healer could have saved my rogue's life this time if I hadn't blown all my money upgrading and deleting cards instead. Anyway I think this is about a good time to end the video. I'm about to die, so please stick around for that if it interests you and consider checking this game out on Steam as well. If you have any questions or comments about this character class or the game in general, please feel free to leave them in the section below. I hope you enjoy the remaining bit of gameplay. And stay safe till next time. Error. 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 Defeat.